Okay, if you've been following my quest for vibration-free flight, um, last you probably saw that I cleaned out this motor and it's been working well. Um, and pre prior to that, I actually did a comparison of the gym fan props with the Groppners, and that was kind of really a no comparison deal. But, you know, I still want to get the gym fans working, so I'm going to now compare the gym fan 10 by 4 5 prop with the smaller prop 9 by 4 7 and so that was actually a suggestion by a YouTube user Bay Area Heli kind of suggested this yesterday so I'm going to give it a try. If you'll notice these iPower motors have this little washer that sits right there and then your prop goes on top of it and then you have this like cone head or cone head looking nut and so what I've what I've seen in some cases is that depending on how you put this thing on it could be offset just a little bit you know because there's a little bit of play you could have this cone mashed down and your washers a little bit offset and there you go there's um, an unbalanced uh, part of the motor that's unbalanced and um, Bay Area Heli user also suggested that he has seen that these cones are not well balanced and I mean actually if you take a look at this real quick watch as I spin it you can see that it it kind of wobbles a little bit it's not perfectly straight so he had recommended using uh, just standard nuts which I very well may do but for the case of this you know an apples to apples comparison I wanted to keep everything as close as possible and we will uh, attach the iPhone to the TBS Discovery, do uh, the seismometer app, and we'll fly with the 10 by 4 5 props, and then we'll fly with the 9 by 4 7 to do a comparison of the uh, vibration. We're going to put this Kyosho Zeal on the iPhone, and then I'll mount it to the frame, just nice and centered kind of stuck on there. Okay, so I know the Zill is actually doing some dampening, but since it's a relative test of the 10 inch versus nine inch uh, gym fans, it should be fine. We'll still be able to, uh, to chart and, and make note of the difference. So I'll take it up for about a 30 second hover and then bring it down. We'll then mount the nine inch props and do the same test and then we'll take a look at the data. Okay, now we have our nine by four sevens mounted and we're gonna take our vibration app up in the air for 30 seconds. Just a nice hover indoors, like we did with the 10 inch props, and then we'll do the comparison. All right, let's look at our data uh, from both of our flight tests. You know, about 30 seconds in the air with the gym fan nine by 4.7s, as well as the gym fan 10 by 4.5s. And I will make this uh, document public and uh, you'll see a link to it in the video description. So here's kind of our gym fan data for the 947s. Take at the 10, take a look at the 1045s, and then I kind of broke these out on each axis. So you'll see a table for X, Y, and Z. But let's actually get to the more interesting data, the visual part of this. We'll look at the uh, chart comparison. And so this is for the x-axis, and you'll notice that the blue are the Jim Fan 10 by 4 5s and the green are the 9 by 4 7s And on the x-axis, you can see there's a fairly considerable dip difference, um, less vibration. Take a look at the y-axis, and you'll see there's a lot less there. And then the z. So as you can see on each axis there is a significant reduction in vibration and you know one thing could be that I just really have no clue what I'm doing related to balancing and uh, on the 10 you know the 10 by 4 fives I didn't do a good job there um, but if that were the case you would expect to see some some level or margin of error in the 9 by 4 sevens because I did you know have to balance of uh, both sets. You know, the other thing is I didn't do any hub balancing. Everything seemed okay, but um, you know, I've watched a few videos on balancing the prop hubs and uh, didn't do that, so may maybe that's uh, an error. So now that we have that 
data in there and we have the visual comparison. Um, let's actually take the uh, TBS up for a flight with the GoPro using the GymFan 9x47 and see if we're getting any closer to stable vibration free video. So purely looking at the data of the GymFan 9 inch versus 10 inch, there's a pretty significant reduction um, on each axis from a vibration perspective. So let's see if that data, data actually holds true. I'm gonna take the GoPro up. You can see I have this just zeal, this Kyosho zeal and a little strip behind here so it doesn't touch the top plate. And it's a bit windy today, so I'm gonna try to keep it relatively low and uh, we'll see how the video looks. So the video looked pretty stable. Now, you know, there were still a few vibrations. I'm not 100% happy, but definitely an improvement over uh, the Gym Fan 10 by 4 fives. Now, I don't want the conclusion of this video, video to sound like that, you know, you can't fly with uh, 10 inch props, because I know you can. And these are actually 950 KV motors. So uh, maybe a lower KV motor would, would be uh, useful, but just to recap some of the things that I've gone over over the past few weeks, we're getting rid of the stickers that came on these motors. Um, I've balanced props. I've been working on, you know, get, making sure this uh, watt prop washer is centered, and I'm going to do some follow-up just related to removing it all together and using a standard nut up here. And I appreciate all the feedback that you guys are giving me, you know, suggestions, and I'm trying to really, you know, hopefully document this process so we can all you get to a point where uh, our videos have pretty, pretty much no jello and no vibes. Thanks for watching and please feel free to post any comments or questions below.